Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. There is a huge update that has just been given to us for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. We have gotten a new secret pack, we know the new uh, selection pack, we are getting a new structure deck, and we're getting a new solo mode and some accessories. So let's quickly go over them. We're going to start with the new secret pack, the Alba... or Alba... Abyss, which is so impossible to say for some reason, um, which is basically the secret pack that is for the branded archetype. And notably, there are a few new cards, most notably this one, Alba Lenatus the Abyss Dragon. Um, this card is actually pretty cool because it allows you to contact fuse away a dragon monster your opponent controls if you have Fallen of All Boss, or a Fallen of All Boss if your opponent has, uh, or if you have a dragon monster, which is pretty cool. Yeah, um... Just overall, pretty decent card. Also, if it's sent to the graveyard, you can add a fusion spell, which is branded fusion. And then you have all of these other cards, which makes it a little bit easier to obtain the cards since the selection pack is now gone. Pretty nice. Like that that's new and has come out. We also have Alba's The Ashen, which is just another copy of Fallen of Alba's, kind of. Um, all level 8... Or Fusion monster is in your graveyard. This card gains 200 attack for each monster in your graveyard. Also, your opponent cannot target other monsters you control with card effects. So it's kind of just like the taunt. It's just like, hey, attack me. Target me. If a monster you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect while this card and a fusion monster is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. Honestly, this card is basically useless. The only reason that you would play this is because it's like a taunt you can just kind of like normal summon it if you already have a normal summon available um but yeah in all honesty this card is not going to see play it just doesn't do anything uh the fact that it is not a fallen of all boss in deck is the problem so there's that but if it was a fallen of all boss in deck you just wouldn't play it anyway because it would take away from the actual fallen of all boss so honestly not all that good and then we have branded banishment this card could see play you target a branded monster or a one at level eight or higher fusion monster in your graveyard special summon it then you can apply the following effects fusion sub summon a fusion monster that is level eight or higher from your extra deck by banishing the materials listed on either field so it's kind of super poly except bad so in all honesty probably not all that useful but it does get you know have some ability to deal with the opponent's board honestly the biggest thing that we are getting from this is the fact that it is a new selection pack um or secret pack that allows us to actually get these important cards most notably things like the titanic lad the nadir servant the um uh, the uh, Dogmatica stuff, the Ecclesia, the uh, Fallen of all, Bas, all of these are now in this same selection pack, which is very nice. And also Kit, because Tribe Gate. Yay. Um, next up, we have ourselves the upcoming structure deck, which is Immortal Glory, which just so far it's just been announced. We know that it's the zombie deck, which is basically it. Uh, this is pretty cool. I like zombies, but all in all, we don't really know too much about it, but we do know um, that it's more or less going to be a zombie deck which is very good because unizombie is very expensive and being able to get triple unizombie to actually play a zombie deck while not having to spend the actual ur tokens is very good i expect a zombie world to also be in here that would be very weird if it wasn't but it hasn't been announced as of yet so hold off on that uh next up we have the new accessories and solo mode which is Starry Night solo mode. Dear Lanta, they keep giving us crap solo modes. I don't know why they do this, but they do. They just decided to give us the really bad ones. Uh, they gave us Ghost Trick. Now they're giving us Starry Night. I guess they want us to spend our money on those instead of like actual good decks because I don't know. <laughs> they don't want us to climb to get those gems. I don't know. We only get like 200 gems, so who cares? Um, Starry Night, cool. We're also getting a Duelist Cup deck case, which means that the Duelist Cup, Cup is coming. This is pretty expected given the fact that it was, it, it's been like a couple of months since the last one. So that's normally when the new one is coming. Uh, I would expect this to show up in January, maybe December. Um, I, I couldn't tell you exactly when, but crossplay is disabled. You can't duel due to crossplay being turned off. Guess what? They fixed the issue. Love to see it. Um, but all in all, we kind of expected this. There's a new profile frame. Cool, whatever. New Duelist Cup icons. Great. No one fucking cares. Uh, we have new sleeves. This one is hype. Th that one is literally a fan art that I have seen on Google Images. They literally took a fan art. 
I've seen that before. Uh, it might be an official art, but still, that's very funny. Um, and then some more sleeves. This is for the 500,000 or 5 million download. Um, so this is a free one. Uh, as for the other ones, I think this one's for solo mode. This one is probably for just dueling in the Duelist Cup. And I don't know what this one is for. I wish I could know uh, because I'm getting this one. It's guaranteed. Anyway, uh, as for the selection pack, let's talk about this one. Woo! I, I haven't actually seen this one, so I got very excited. We are getting the Runic cards, which is very exciting. The Runic cards are interesting, let's just say that. We're also getting a Legal Knight for the adventure stuff, which really means that hoping and praying the adventure engine comes off of the ban list ever so slightly. Sure, maybe you could ban the, uh, the Water Enchantress and you could just keep the other one at three. I'd love that. Just give us more of the token because the adventure engine is super pog. I really like it, but um, I doubt that that's going to happen, especially with Illegal Knight coming out, but one can hope. We have another Starving Venom Predip Power Fusion Dragon. We have another stupid thing. Um, it requires two fusion monsters, which means that it's basically not going to be summoned, and it's not really worth it. However, we are getting Labyrinths, and so far, we only know the five URs, but Labyrinths are pretty dope. We do like Labyrinths. Um, I'm expecting Labyrinths to be the high-end set, uh, or the high-end cards of this set, because they are the waifu deck, but I do expect Labyrinths to actually see some meta relevance, um, similar to Marincess when they came out. Uh, they're just like the most popular waifu deck of the time, and they're all honestly pretty good. You compare them with things like Eldritch to have a pretty decent shot at overall just having a good game plan and like doing well. Um, we also know that the Runic cards are going to be paired very well with Splite when they inevitably come out, but at the moment the Runic cards are going to be mostly a stall, kind of slow your opponent, mill them out kind of strategy, but I don't expect them to do all that well because of the fact that they don't really have a good power ceiling. They can't really slow the game down enough. Sure, things like Runic uh, Destruction, Runic Tip, and stuff like that are good, but they're just kind of not enough. Um, in order to slow the game enough. Um, all in all, though, I am excited for the Runic stuff. They are a pretty cool archetype, and I will most definitely be, you know, digging into this box. So that's exciting. When does this come out? December 8th. So in a few days. Not too long, but uh, yeah, that is pretty exciting. Um, yeah, we don't really know too much about all that's coming out, but... Uh, pretty nice overall seeing what we have. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, just some really cool things that we're getting and we already have the new secret pack, uh, which is very nice. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy. If you did, a like is very much so appreciated. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as more Yu-Gi-Oh, then just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye. Shout out to the Frost Guard, my members. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope you enjoy the content.